Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan video. Today I want to talk about Baku fusions and the Baku Sky Raider combinations. So here I have my three examples. Uh, I have Aeroblitz and Magma Fury here, which are the Baku Sky Raider combinations. Put those to the side. And then here we have Betacore, which is Radizen and Rockstor, which is actually a Baku fusion. So they look the same in a lot of ways, um, but there is actually some difference. Obviously, the Sky Raiders combined with Sky Raiders, and then the Fusions combined with just like normal uh, Bakugan. So I want to talk about these just because I haven't covered them on the channel, and I think it'd be pretty interesting. So for now, we're going to start with uh, Radisson and Rockstore and talk about Baku Fusions. So to begin with, I want to start by like taking the Bakugan apart because they do actually combine. Um, so similar to Baku mutants in a lot of ways, these Bakugan have pegs that like combine. So the mutants had like clips, um, but we see like a sort of like mixture where two Bakugan can combine like the mutants. Um, but this also follows a similar stance that we see from some trap Bakugan in New Vestroia, as well as like Maxis Helios and Maxis Drago where there's pegs. Um, so lots of variation here. We can also like even like kind of like Put it on this peg here so interesting um but there are specific rules to play these and stuff so i want to go ahead and do a demonstration so we're going to actually close up radisson here and we're going to close up rock store and i'll show you how they can actually be played in battle which i think is super interesting if you would like to play a baku sky raider combination in a battle and win it's really really simple uh, so all you have to do is basically get these two Bakugan on the same gate card. If they stand on the same gate card, they automatically win that card. So as long as they can combine, like they create better core, you win. Uh, so you have to actually have both Bakugan to make this work. All right, so Radisson stood there. Go ahead and pop him open. And then we'll go ahead and roll Rock's tour. And then that's an example of how you win the card. Boom. And if you were playing in an actual battle, this is the legal way you win the game, uh, or the card at least. So as long as these two Bakugan are together, you win. Um, pretty easy. And I'll go ahead and actually list off the rest of the Baku fusions, because there are actually quite a lot that I just don't have, but I want to showcase. So the known combinations are Scorptac, which is a combination of Spatterix and Stronk. And after that is Volkaus, which is a combination of Wharton and Ballista. And so I'll pull up pictures of all those Bakugan there, just so you can see the different combinations and how they work. Um, but basically, if you have those Bakugan and you land them on a card, you win the card. So pretty cool. Uh, a nice addition to Mectanium Surge, I think. And just kind of spices up the game a little bit. It's very similar to double stands, like in Baku Tech and the early game and stuff like that. So pretty cool, in my opinion. And then to combine them, like, it, it's the simplest thing in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop Radisson all the way back out here um, like so you can get his mouth out let's see there we go and then rock store here just has feet that make him stand up and then this little peg right here sticks into this hole in Radisson and boom there you've got your back on so I guess if you want to get really fancy in a battle you could try and stand them up um, a little bit hard to get Radisson to stand just right. He's not like the other ones where he's got a good base. Kind of like that. Uh, there we go. But yeah, super cool. All right, so now I want to go on to the Sky Raider combinations, which are very different and also very useless, at least game-wise. So unlike the Baku Fusions where if they landed together, they combined, uh, If these, these can't even be played. According to the wiki, uh, the Baku Sky Raiders can combine to become more powerful, but they're not allowed to be used in the physical game. So this is like purely, purely just for looks, which I think is super disappointing. Um, I want to showcase Magma Fury here. I don't feel like taking Magma Fury apart and breaking him down because setting this guy up is complicated and a little time consuming. But uh, yeah, we have Orbium, Skytris, and then Jakor forms Magma Fury, which is a really really awesome Bakugan he's really big and this is the best way I've seen to get him set up um there are a couple different versions online of how he looks this is the most accurate I've seen 
and then it's not even quite accurate to the show just because of like the feet and stuff um, if you guys have a proper way to set him up that's like more show accurate let me know but this is like the closest I could get from asking online looking online and all that stuff so yeah there's magma fury super cool bakugan I just don't feel like taking him apart because he's got three bakugan and he gets a little complicated but I will talk about Aeroblitz here. So Aeroblitz, just like um, Betacore, comes out. So I can get that out. Yep, there we go. He's just got a little peg right here that, you know, sticks up and down. And then combines here with Reptac. Little hole there. Uh, Reptac, of course, can be bent to like form like a base of legs, which is really cool. And then just sits right on top. So, yeah. Not too shabby, looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I really like this. And of course there is other Sky Raider combinations. There's one more, which is Gliderac, which is a pretty cool name. And it is a combination of Kokodor, Mutabird, and Betadron. So you, if you have those, you can combine those and they form like this almost like giant, like winged bird creature. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull up pictures of all that so you guys can take a look. But I thought this would be an interesting video to talk about just because it's not been covered on the channel yet. And I have had these and talked about them like in passing, but never dedicated a full video to them. Um, so yeah, Sky Raider combinations and the Baku fusions are super unique and super interesting. I'm glad that the fusions got their way into the game, uh, at least the physical game. However, I'm really sad that the Sky Raider combinations just didn't. To me, it seems like the Sky Raider combinations are a bit lackluster considering how hard it is to actually land them on a card. Um, but on top of that, just knowing that the combinations are useless kind of makes them almost worth not buying, at least back in the day for me. I probably wouldn't have bought these. They're here now and they're really cool to see on display. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know who is your favorite combination or fusion. Let me know in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe for more awesome content. My name is Jesse and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.